Hey guys, those of you who follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram will know that I use these platforms to discuss matters economic or political. But recently I've taken a decision to support the public health authorities to try and get as many South Africans as possible to vaccinate. But I also feel that it's important for people to vaccinate not because we screaming at them to vaccinate, but they do it as an informed decision. Here are my reasons for vaccinating and for doing this. The first reason is that too many people have died and continue to die. It's a tragedy. We've seen too many of our friends lose parents, lose their cousins, lose their siblings, and each time it's really, really difficult and it's getting to the point where words have run out now because of the tragedy and grief that we see around us. So that's the first reason why I'm doing this. The second reason is that the extent of the suffering from for people who have lost their incomes, who've lost their jobs, some businesses have been destroyed and will never recover again. It is important that life gets back to normal as soon as possible so that we can focus on recovery, we can focus on healing, especially for those people that have had a really difficult time and lost more than one family member and they now need to find ways of supporting themselves or supporting the rest of the family. It's really difficult to do that if there is still going to be more lockdowns and more economic hardship and so on. The third reason is that this pandemic has shown me once again the extent of the inequalities we have in our country and how much they can disadvantage people for the rest of their lives. While some of us are able to work remotely because we are fortunate enough to work in environments where those facilities are available to us, a lot of people are not able to do that. A lot of young people in universities and technicons and FET colleges have not had that opportunity. And it is the same for schools where those with better means have been able to continue with remote learning. I think also for their sake, it's important that we get as many people as possible to vaccinate. So what I'm going to do is that for the next few weeks, every Thursday at 7 p.m., I am going to host a medical expert who could be a doctor, who could be an epidemiologist, who could be some or other expert that is relevant to this topic to provide that information, to answer all the questions that those who will be participating may have. And once again, this is to make sure that people can choose to vaccinate from an informed position so that we can have safer communities, safer families, and we can also protect our own lives. And once we've done that, we will be better able to focus on healing and reconstruction of our country, of our society, and of our economy. So join me every Thursday, 7 p.m. for the next three, four to five weeks, or maybe as long as we need to do it. Thanks. See you on Thursday.